Hello, ho me's. That is ho me's. Welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be solving the biggest issue known to man right now, which is using your controller for RPCS3. And that's the issue where, for example, I'm going to just shut this off right now so you can see. Pads where it's not showing any of your game pads. All right, so first things first, we're going to go to device manager. And we're going to go to human interface devi uh, devices. And you want to find system control or game controller. You want to right click this. It's going to say Xbox One, whatever. You want to go to properties, driver, update driver. Browse computer for drivers. And then let me pick from a list. It's going to be X input compatible HID device. You don't want this. You want to select HID compliant game controller. Click next and click close. All right, that's going to reinstall the driver for you and it's going to revert it to an older driver. So now you can use it with this. What is this? This is X360 CE. This allows you to map your Xbox One controller to be a 360 controller because RSPC or RPC S3, excuse me, doesn't detect Xbox One controllers. It just doesn't. It used to, but it doesn't anymore, at least for me. So I had to find a workaround. So first things first is you want to go to add here. And you want to find your controller. So you select add selected device. And your your control this is assuming your controller shows up on Windows. If it doesn't, that's a completely separate issue, and I apologize. And then once it shows up, you want to click this right here, enable one map devices. And you should, when moving around your sticks, it should be able to show your entire stick movement, button presses, everything mapped to the controller. All right, so first things first is you want to click remap all and you want to do yes and it's going to take you through a tutorial. You'll see these arrows here. Excuse me. Now, once that's done, you're you're simply ready. Okay, you have your joysticks now mapped. You have your buttons mapped properly. You have your sticks mapped properly. You have everything mapped. And once you do that, just simply minimize. And guess what? It's going to show up as an X input controller. And if you look in the bottom right hand corner, your dead zones are now actually going to show up. It's going to show your stick moving around, which is exactly what you want. Now I'll be right back to prove to you that this works by playing Sonic Unleashed. All right, and we're back. And you can see that it is clearly working. Clearly working. No issue whatsoever. Jump works. Melee works. Start works, running works, everything just works. It works as should. Developers, it works as should. You shouldn't have to do all this to play your games. And that's the tutorial, baby. You now have a working Xbox One controller in RPC S3. Thank you for watching. Short and sweet. Have a great rest of your day.